The siphon. A siphon is a convenient device for removing liquids from containers. To establish the flow, the tube must be initially filled with fluid. Let the fluid have density rho and let the atmospheric pressure be P atmosphere. Assume that the cross-sectional area of the tube is the same at all points along it. It's the same at all points along it. So this is our tube. Part A. If the lower end of the siphon is at a distance h below the surface of the liquid in the container, what is the speed of the fluid as it flows out the lower end of the siphon? Assume that the container has a very large diameter and ignore any effects of viscosity. So we don't have any friction effect. The container has a very large diameter. A curious feature of a siphon is that the fluid initially flows uphill. What is the greatest height, capital H, that the high point of the tube can have if flow is still to occur? Okay, so uh, we start with the uh, Bernoulli equation between the container and the water flowing out. So we have, uh, or the fluid flowing out. We have the pressure at the tank, uh, we have the top surface of the uh, fluid flowing, one, 1 hour 2 rho V tank square, and then we have the potential energy rho GH. Uh, on the other side we have the atmospheric pressure and the fluid is flowing out 1 over 2 rho v out square the kinetic energy term in Bernoulli's equation now since the tank is very large since the tank is very large we have a large container we must have the speed of the fluid at the uh, top surface of the container much less than the outflow speed. Also, we have the pressure in the container to be equal to P atmosphere. So remember that uh, the atmospheric pressure P atmosphere is also here because this is open to air, right? So this part is open to air. So we have atmospheric pressure maintained on top of the liquid. So uh, we obtain, uh, since P tank is equal to P atmosphere, they cancel out. And this is to be ignored because it's uh, negligibly small compared to V out. Uh, so we find that uh, rho GH must be equal to 1 over 2 rho v out squared and therefore we find the outflow speed to be square root 2gh because rows will cancel here. All right. Now for part b, what is the maximum height the tube can have for the fl uh, fluid flow uh, still to occur? I'm going to write Bernoulli's equation top to bottom. So from top to bottom. Okay, so I have the pressure at the top plus the potential energy term rho G capital H plus H plus 1 over 2 rho v top square must be equal to the atmospheric pressure plus 1 over 2 rho v out square. Okay. Now I notice that v top must be equal to v out. Why? The cross-sectional area does not change. So I notice that the volume flow rate 
um, should be the same. So therefore, area times the speed here, area times the speed here should be the same. So the area is the same. Therefore, the uh, speed is the same. So I'm going to see that these two terms will cancel out and I will obtain P atmosphere, atmospheric pressure minus the pressure at the top of the pipe must be equal to rho g capital H plus H. In other words, the pressure on top of the pipe must be equal to the atmospheric pressure uh, minus rho g capital H plus H. Now, the water can rise to a maximum height. Uh, and we want the fluid flow to still to occur. If the fluid flow will stop, that means the pressure here will be zero. If the pressure here is zero, net force is zero. So the fluid flow will stop. So basically, when the pressure uh, drops to zero, the fluid flow will cease. So the water can rise to a maximum height when the pressure drops to zero. So I'm going to uh, get P top is equal to zero and that will give me rho g capital H plus H must be equal to P atmosphere. Therefore, I find that the maximum height I can have is P atmosphere P atmosphere divided by uh, rho g minus h. So this is our answer. So we notice that the, as the water rises, the absolute pressure drops. If I were to write Bernoulli's equation from tank to bottom, then at the tank side, I have atmospheric pressure plus 1 over 2 rho v tank square. This is equal to the pressure at the top plus rho g capital H plus 1 over 2 rho v out square. And remember that v out we have found to be a uh, square root 2gh in part a. So if you substitute that here, we will get p atmosphere minus p top should be equal to rho g capital H plus rho g h. And this act actually gives exactly the same equation. Pressure at the top is equal to p atmosphere minus rho g capital H plus H. And then we set P top equals zero. We obtain exactly the same result. Okay, so we talked about the siphon. It's a convenient device for removing liquids from containers. This container is the tank that I've talked about. To establish the flow, the tube is filled with fluid uh, with density rho and it is maintained at atmospheric pressure uh, on one side is open. And the cross-sectional area of the tube is the same at all points along it. The lower end is at a distance h with respect to the top surface. And the, the top side is at a distance capital H from the top surface. Uh, so I, I want to know the speed of the fluid flow, outward uh, fluid flow, ignoring any effects of viscosity and uh, assuming that this container has a very large diameter. And at the same time, I want to know the maximum value this capital H can have. So I wrote Bernoulli's equation, the pressure at the tank, which is atmospheric pressure, uh, the speed with which this flows is V tank, one half rho V tank square kinetic energy term, plus rho G H is the potential energy term. Then I go to this side, it's the atmospheric pressure plus one half rho V out square. The P tank is equal to P atmosphere. V tank is uh, much less than V out because the, uh, the area uh, of the tank is uh, very large. That's the reason. 
and uh, and I have area times the uh, speed is equal to a constant. So I find that V out should be equal to square root 2 GH. If I write Bernoulli's equation from top to bottom, I will have pressure on top, uh, 1 half rho V top square plus rho G capital H plus H, the potential energy term, should be equal to P atmosphere plus 1 half rho V out square. V top and V out should be the same because the cross-sectional area doesn't change. Area times the speed is a constant. We have a constant volume flow rate. And uh, these guys cancel and when I reach the maximum height, the pressure on top should be equal to zero. So the, I want the fluid flow to continue. The fluid flow is still to occur. So the critical value is zero. So I find that P atmosphere should be equal to rho G capital H plus H. In other words, the maximum height I can have H maximum value of H is P atmosphere over rho G minus H. And I've checked the same result using Bernoulli's equation between the uh, top of the li uh, liquid here in, inside the container and the top of the pipe or top of the tube. P atmosphere plus one half rho V tank square is equal to rho G capital H uh, plus P top plus one half rho V out square, which we found to be square root two GH. So uh, V tank is again negligible, remember that uh, this area is very large, so this can be neglected. Uh, therefore, I obtain exactly the same results.